John friends, Beth of Thimblehooks, and today is Thank You Teacher Day. I designed this itty bitty little Apple bookmark. It is a great stash buster, and it's been a really hard year for teachers and for students, so even if you just only have a few minutes, you can make this. This is probably a 15 minute project from start to end, and it's so cute. It's just adorable. Is it? Isn't it cute? It hangs over the top of the book. I just love this little guy. I think he's so cute. So I'm going to show you how to make these and it'll only take you a few minutes. Let's get started. I'm going to set all these little guys. I made them in all every apple-y color that Karen Simply Soft makes. Right here. I've got all of them. There's the fuchsia and the sunshine and autumn red and I believe this one is baby sunshine this one is pistachio and this one is just their normal bright happy red so I'm going to do Karen Simply Soft and yeah baby sunshine such a pretty yellow like a nice little golden golden apple so all you need is a color for an apple a little bit of green whatever shade of green you have hanging around just only a little bit, Stash Buster, remember. Just a little bit for a leaf, right here. And a little bit of brown that you have hanging out for the stem. So that's really all you need. And a scissors and a four millimeter hook. I'm using my four millimeter ebony furls today that I love so much. Even though Karen Simply Soft wants a five, a five millimeter hook, I am using a four to make nice tight stitches for my cute little apple. So here we go. Here we're going to start out, we're going to chain 70. And then we're going to work into the 68th, 68th chain. So when you get to 68, just pay attention to where you are. But we're going to chain 70. So here we go. I'll meet you at 70. 68, 69, and 70. So there's my chain of 70. If you want it to be a little bit shorter, as you can see how long this guy is. You want to be shorter, just chain a little bit less. We're going to go in two from the hook. Not the very first spot where you can work, but the next one. And we are going to put 12 double crochets in this stitch right, or in this chain right here. 12 double crochets. So here we go. all 12 of them in the same stitch and I want to mark my first one sometimes these stitches are so close together you don't want to lose a stitch so there's number two and there's 12 there's my 12 all in the same stitch now in the one that I marked I'm just gonna do a slip stitch and now we have a nice little circle so now we're gonna make an apple which is super cute and it's really really fast all right so there's our slip stitch in the next stitch right or the, yeah, the next stitch right here we're going to do a half double crochet which is a yarn over and pull through and then in the next stitch i want four double crochets oopsie i forgot to mark this so let me do that i don't want to lose that stitch i'm marking the half double crochet that we just made I don't want to lose it. These get these stitches get kind of tight. So in the next stitch, I want four double crochets in that same stitch. So there's one and four. And the next stitch gets a half double crochet and a single crochet. Half double and a single. The next two get single crochets only. One single crochet there, one single crochet there. And we're at the bottom of our apple. So we want to do in the same, all three of these next three stitches will be in the same stitch. So I want to do a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a slip stitch. All of those are in the same stitch. And now we're going to work up the other side of the apple. So we're going to do everything we just did in reverse order. So there's our slip stitch and a half double crochet and a single crochet all in that same stitch. See, at the bottom of the apple now, it's upside down. So the next two are single crochets. So there's a single crochet in that stitch. 
single crochet in this stitch. Next one is a single crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. We have two left. The next stitch gets four double crochets in the same stitch. So there's one, two, three, and four. One stitch left gets a half double crochet, just like how we started. Same way we're going to end. Here's my half double crochet. And also a slip stitch. Get how quick that was to make a cute little apple. Isn't he adorable? So now we're going to work back down this chain. Almost done. We really are almost done. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then go to the back of the apple where our tail is for all of those chains that we didn't use yet. And we're just going to single crochet all the way down to the end. Every chain will get a single crochet all the way down to the end. Back to our very beginning chain. All the way down here. And I'll meet you at the end. Nothing tricky here, just single crochets, easy peasy. And one in our very last stitch. And now we just want to, easy peasy, finish this off, pull it straight through, tie these together. Tie them in a little knot. Now here I fuzzed them out. I just fuzzed them out just a little bit. Snip it a little shorter, make sure they're even. And we can take anything that has a point. Before I used one of my needles, which worked a lot nicer than my scissors, but my needle is a little bit too far away for me to reach right now. So generally, I have just a fuzzy at the end, or you can snip it all the way down so all there is is a knot. However you want to finish that off. Anything goes on the end of this guy right here. So now we're going to do a stem and a leaf and we're done. It's awesome. So for the stem, we just need a little bit of the brown that we spoke of. Don't need very much at all. And we're going to work into this marked stitch. The stem and the leaf will both be worked into this stitch right here. So we're going to use our brown. Pull it around through, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and slip stitch all the way down. One slip stitch, two slip stitch, and three slip stitch, and one more into our original chain that was still connected to the yellow apple. Stem is done. Snip that off, pull it through, and then I come in from the behind, right here, and grab that tail end that I just cut and pull it to the back. Cute! See how easy that is? Now just tie these two into the knot. Alright, so there's our stem working into that same stitch. So I'm going to take out my marker now that our stem is in there. We know where we're working. So now I just need a little bit of my green and I believe this one is pistachio. And do go through, going through that same stitch that we just worked the stem. We're going to make a leaf. And this isn't any harder than the stem. We're going to chain five. Pull through. One, two, three, four, and five. And the first chain that you can actually work in, we're going to put in a single crochet. The next two chains each get one half double crochet. One and two. And now we're going to slip stitch in our last chain and slip stitch in our base. 
and again done have your scissors handy because this goes so quick snip pull it through come in from behind again and through that same starting stitch now we'll pull the green back and do the same that we did with the brown and just tie a knot tie a knot to hold it in place so it doesn't come unraveled isn't he just adorable cute 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 all you have to do you can tuck these in any way you want I've just been snipping them down because they really don't show very much anyway so just snippy snip done bam and see it's got the little bumps on the bottom looks just like an apple so adorably cute and it hangs over the side of your book if you want it to be shorter remember just chain a few less so there you go isn't that cute so thank a teacher Teachers, thank your students. These only take about 15 minutes to make from start to finish. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel. Stop back soon. Don't forget to check out. I have a great giveaway going on right now. And don't forget to take the time to thank a teacher. Ciao. Bye-bye.